Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 20. This is episode 18. So last episode, we uh, left off uh, after the Ipswich win. Uh, we went into Doncaster and got drilled 2-0. We actually outplayed them, just couldn't find the goal. MK Dons, we lost 2-1. They had a player sent off, and we were still down 2-0 before we got a late goal from Nathan McGinley, who returned from injury. Uh, then we beat Tranmere 2-0. Harvey White, Ashley Hunter with the goals. Sunderland in front of a pretty large crowd, 24,000. Uh, 2-0 win there. Elliot Freer and Ashley Hunter in the first half. And then uh, a road game against Colchester, 3-0. Ethan Ross with an own goal for the Colchester side. Uh, put us up 1-0. Ebu Adams and Nathan McGinley with goals in the second half for the comfortable 3-0 win. And then Coventry in front of another sold-out home crowd. Harvey White with a penalty early in the second half. A lot of yellow cards in that game. But we have uh, four wins on the bounce. We are currently 86 points from 39 games, doing very well. Seven points up on Rothram for second. That's automatic promotions. And we are 20 points up on Charlton uh, for third position, which would drop us into the playoff run. Uh, we have qualified for the playoffs at a minimum. And again, 20 points and 21 points left to play. So it's possible... It's possible that a win today could clinch automatic promotion. Uh, we'll see. I don't think it'll. I don't think we can clinch the league today, but I think we can clinch automatic promotion. Also, if we go back a little bit, we are on the verge of a couple of things i just need to find it here we go so uh we are sitting on 86 points our league record uh or our record for the club is 91 so that would be uh in reach and we currently have 27 wins which also is the club record so one more win in our final seven games and we break the club record for wins so that is really good couple more bits of transfer news. Those are the guys that we know are joining. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there we are. All right, so Trafford is an 18-year-old. Both of these are young guys. So now that it looks like we're going to get promoted up, uh, we had the England release day. So I went and brought all those guys in on trial that were willing to come. Still looking at a few of them and may still make a few more offers. But uh, James Trafford being released by Man City. He is an 18-year-old goalkeeper. Not bad. Five-star potential, two-star two current. So like some of his ratings, I, I just viewed this as a guy we could get on the cheap and uh, stick into our system. He could play in our under-23s for a little while. Uh, maybe even if our under 18s next year and uh, CJ Egan Riley also coming out of the Man City system can play all three backline positions very pacey five star potential uh heading is a little on the low side for center back but everything else is there especially for right back needs to work on his crossing that would be a um that would be a hole in his game but he's got a lot of upside, and again, five-star potential. So now, going into the championship, I'm kind of starting to think, okay, if we can sign some of these young players, build up our development, and then, boom, get these guys, you know, maybe sell some of these guys on. So uh, we're going to have them joining at the end of the season. Uh, Isaiah Jones and Hutchinson we looked at previously, joining uh, end of contract, and uh, then the guys going out. Uh, as well. Uh, so that is everything going on there. So today we are playing Crew. They currently are in sixth position. It's been a hard fought contest with them. Two wins, one draw, one loss. Uh, I have tweaked the tactic a little bit, um, or I brought in another tactic. We did lose a couple using the 4 4 1 1 after last episode. So I have brought in a new tactic. 
uh, and it's a it's a four three three with attacking wingers. You've seen it before. Uh, we've used it. We used it at the beginning of we used it last season, I believe. So we're doing well. Uh, Hunter Freer Collins up top, attacking White Morrell and Backinson in the midfield with Backinson in that base position. Uh, Colsus McGinley Ross and Shepard across the back line. O'Malley uh, in the goal. Thomas, Kitching, Kennedy, Williams, Jones, Koval, and March on the bench. And uh, here's, here's the guys you can see that are uh, on trial. Uh, I do want to filter out the ones that are unavailable. That would make it a little more convenient for me. Again, Koval is the only one that's homegrown at the club. So I need to look at the championship, I guess, if we get, you know, once we confirm automatic promotion, and see exactly what the rules are because I, I, I'm, I'm letting a lot of these young players go that are not quite good enough, but they're just not very good. And, and so I don't see – and the weird thing is they don't show up with that homegrown tag here, so I don't know if they're homegrown or not. So that's uh, – actually, I guess, could we add in – we could add in all three sides. Let's take out the unavailable. And then we could sort here. And this is the, I think it's that light blue. Okay, Benedetti, he's leaving us already. A lot of these guys, here we go. Okay, so Ethan Hill, see, he's just not good. Alfie Saunders. Vaughn Koval may be the only one that's worth keeping, and he's out of contract this year um, just because he's not very good. Orlando Thomas, he came through a couple of years ago. He signed for another year. Madu is in there. He signed for another year. And Isaiah Jones, but I don't think he's very good. So that's the problem. We just don't have enough guys coming through the club. I don't think I'm going to have a choice but to keep this guy. But I want to check the championship and see if that's still something that we need to be aware of. So we'll worry about that uh, later on. So let's get back to here. Uh, let's see. Let's take out our... Youth squads, clear out the unavailables. I think I already did this, but just to make sure, there we go. And submit the team. The reason I've gone to this is now that we're top of the table, we're actually considered one of the better sides. So I want to get away from a mid and low table style tactic. That was my thought process, plus the fact we were starting to have some struggles. And I think you see that a lot. Oh, Hunter tried to just tip it over the head. I think he was offsides. Um, but we do, you know, we have seen teams starting to play a little more defensively. And that does cause some problems in trying to break opponents down. And that leads to a lot of these, you know, one nil. Oh, there's a header. Aaron Collins comes across from the right wing into the box. He gets his 24th of the season, and Elliot Freer with the goal puts us up 1-0. That was a nice buildup and play. Crossover and coming from the backside, liking that. We're not getting a lot of shots here, so let's go ahead and get creative. Morell is pressured. Few new guys getting some appearances here. Morell not done play a lot. Uh, Hunter playing up top with Collins moving to the wing. You know, playing with those attacking wingers instead of the midfield wingers. Just a little, a little different. Oh, and Hunter pounces. Oh my God. He lucked out and got the ball back, but what a poor finish opportunity. Ing. With the ball out. Oh, we lost, we left the European Union. That was a few months ago. So, oh, Freer pounces on it. He is into the box. And it drifts, and he cannot find the net. 
That was a little unlucky. A little more power and he might have had that. The uh, We're already in attacking form. Uh, let's demand more. We do have a ye uh, yellow on Shepard. That's going to be something to address at the half. Oh, my goodness. Woof. Oh, and also something else I forgot to mention. Uh, we did sign a new two-year contract. It was, you know, earlier, you know, a couple of months ago, I guess. Just uh, it was off camera. So decided to go ahead and uh, take that deal. Uh, it was after the Fleetwood uh, job interview offer. So, all right, encourage the team. Watch your step. And let's pop into tactics here. Yeah, I've got to get stuck in. Oh, I want to take off the offsides trap. I don't like that. But if they start getting more shots, maybe we're... Oh, hello. No foul. Okay. Our guy goes ass over tea kettle. Cleared up high. Hunter makes the run out. He's on to it. Into the box, drives in, and oh, what a finish by Ashley Hunter. His 15th of the season. And Freer with another assist. That gives him two assists in this game. That was a hell of a finish by Ashley Hunter. I was surprised he got to that ball. Beat his guy to the touchline, went inside, and just beat the keeper at the near post. Gotta like that. So they're on three shots. So I kind of want to look and see if that offsides trap starts to really affect us any as far as possession, shots allowed, things of that nature. Oh, uh, we had a little bit of a mixer in there. Keen Clark gets his first of the season. Oh, uh, and you know how I feel. That's just a, a knife in the heart right there, man. Unlucky, unlucky. Rawson, Bukinson, Morell, nice ball over the top to Freer, crossed in, that did not go in, how did that not go in, oh, Hunter got robbed, I think that hit all three bars on the goal, I think that hit all three bars on the goal, wow, wow, all right, let's uh, let's move let's move Calsis over to the right. We can bring Kitching on to the left. Let's bring Kai Kennedy on. That'll be two of our subs. Uh, Hunter, oh Hunter, Hunter tried to pick his pocket and just missed. Um, hello? All right, you know what? We're going to go back and I don't like playing with the trap, but we're going to do it. That was horrible. That was not a good play. I mean, that one guy beat all three. Ooh, I'm thinking it might have been... It might have been the, the new guy. Uh, let's uh, demand more. Get him focused. Get that laser focus going. All right, White into the box. Kennedy puts it over. White again. All right, Kennedy tracks it down. Plays it back. We're going to rebuild. Out to White, Freer into the box. He takes a ping, and it goes wide of the mark. And we're sitting on this 2-2 draw, and I am not happy here. Kennedy up top. Heavy touch. Gets past his man. Oh, and he takes a hit in the box. There's a penalty, and Harvey White is going to line up for it. White actually, one of the draws we had off camera couple episodes back, uh, White missed a penalty late in the game that cost us the win, and we settled for a draw. That's White's 15th goal. 
not bad at all for a central midfielder. It helps when he takes all the penalties for the club. Oh, my God. Okay, let's go into the tactics and ask the keeper, slow the pace down a little bit, maybe. And let's go ahead and make a sub here. Um, I am thinking... Let's move uh, Ross. Oh, I don't. I don't like taking Rawson out of that center. He is so good. He is so good. I think Jones could do the job though. So let's move Rawson over to the right. Call sis for Jones. And let me. Oh, you know one thing I have not paid attention to here. Actually, these guys can pass pretty well. This is actually. These guys may be good enough to play a ball-playing defender spot. Oh, there's a flick on header. Key and Clark. He has been dangerous today. All right, let's ask him to tighten up. They're not going to like that, and that's okay. Just as long as they do it. And we walk out with the 3-2 win. And we got promotion. Hello. Didn't win the league, but we have garnered automatic promotion, it appears. Rotherham secure a playoff spot. Forest Green, automatic promotion. Initial budgets, $5.8 million on payroll, $1.72 on transfer. So we've got 2.8 million now. Okay. And we get promoted. Rejoice in promotion success. Unbelievable promotion. And the board. Let's take a look at the club vision because uh, there's a lot happening in there. So five-year plan. We're on course for payroll budget. Sign players to sell for a profit. Haven't really been able to do that because we can't sell any of our freaking players. Uh, but avoid a relegation battle. Delighted. Reach the third round. Passed. We pa uh, reach second round of the Carabao Cup. Passed. Second round minimum leasing .com. The end of the 21-22 season, which is next year, uh, we were supposed to have a top half finish. We've passed. Uh, League One playoffs in the 22-23 season, we've passed. Win promotion to the championship, we have passed. So that is, let's see, where, where are we? 2021, yeah, here. One, two, three years ahead of a schedule. So we're doing pretty good, pretty good. Now, we know, right, we know, make budget adjustment. We're not going to spend that much money, right? So if we're going to be still somewhere around that three and a half, you know, that would raise our transfer up to about 3.4. So we've got a little money we could spend, bring in a couple of higher profile players. Um, I think what we want to do is take a look at, let's take a look at Derby. Let's take a look at Oxford. And I want Richard Hughes doing it because he's our best guy. Blackpool looks like they're going to get relegated. Now, that could change. That could change. QPR is in the mix. So let's go ahead and ask for that. And then we'll, if there's any other clubs as the, you know, another week or two, we'll add them into the mix, right? Okay, well, let's go ahead. I mean, that's we've gained automatic promotion. So maybe I go off camera. We were not sold out for that match. We were about 150 people short of a sellout, and we clinched. That's disappointing. Um, so automatic promotion. Seven points. Yeah. I tell you what, I'm going to go off camera, play some more games, 
because we want to come back for automatic promotion and see us lift the trophy, right? So I don't think we need to do another episode this season. We've already gained promotion for next year. But let me get to the point where I think we will maybe win the league or play to win the league, and we'll come back for that. Uh, Rotherham, we don't play them again. So I'll play it by ear, but we'll be back for that in just a minute for you. All right, just going through some emails as we're progressing through. We have recorded a team record high with 92 points, uh, so that has happened. Uh, we do have a shot at a League One record point haul, which is, I think uh, it was 103 or 106, not sure which. So, anyway, nice little goal bonus, uh, 100, what do you get 12,500 dollars for reaching 20 so good on him and nothing else going on uh, oh we did sign uh, a couple of our uh, trial players so uh, but we'll look at these guys later on but a, a gun a gunbo uh, signs on a free uh, so he comes in. And we've got a couple of other offers out. But here we go, the title race heading to the wire. Uh, they actually play Rockdale. We play Millwall and Rockdale. So we we have the harder road, but they are seven points behind us. So this might go down to the Millwall match. We might have a chance against Portsmouth. Anyway, we'll figure it out. We'll be back, hopefully for the clincher, and uh, we'll go from there. See you guys back here in a second. All right, so this is going to start the second half of the episode. Uh, we'll see if this is one that you'll see. Uh, because if you do see this, this is the one where we have a chance to win the league and finish top of the table. So if it's not, I'll delete it and we'll record the next game, I suppose. Uh, a little earlier than I expected. Let's take a quick look. Uh, so we had beaten Crew. Uh, we beat Cheltenham 6-1. Harvey White with a brace. Aaron Collins with a brace. Ashley Hunter and Martin Pilge, Marin Pilge, with two goals within a, two, within a two minute span. Uh, easy win. And then a 4 2 win over Fleetwood. Shepard with a goal. Elliot Freer with a hat trick. Sadly, if we take a look at the medical center, Aaron Collins twisted his ankle. He's going to be out five weeks. So we are without him likely for the remainder of the season. And that is going to put some pressure on us to fill that void. Uh, also taking a quick look, we've signed another player, J. Neil Bennett, Janiel Bennett. He'll be joining us uh, end of season six on uh, June 9th. A striker, winger, midfield winger, 19 years old, out of Tottenham. One of those guys that got released. Very good physicals. Uh, he could play that attacking winger at the on either side. Now, he is a right footer, so he'd have to be an inside forward or an inverted winger on the left. He can play winger on the right. He can do all the jobs. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what he's got. And uh, the scouts have him as a, a five-star potential, currently at a League Two, could be a League One in the future. And, of course, we're moving up to the championship, so he's been outpaced already. But, again, we can maybe loan him out, see him develop, and then sell him on maybe for a profit. Uh, match preview, we are playing Rockdale. Uh, that's the blue camouflage. I don't recall seeing that one this season on a video. Interesting. Uh, we're both in excellent form. Rockdale is in sixth position. We have been uh, continuing to use this tactic. Hunter's going to move to the wing. Do I want Gronley up top? He can finish. He's 5'7", though. Ugh. He's 5'10". It's not much better. He's right-footed. You know what? Because they're playing in inside forwards, I want them on the opposite sides with their feet, right? Because they're cutting inside. I think that would be better. I want Hunter up top. So close that out. And let's see what happens. 
It's the wrong time to be tweaking things, I suppose, but what else are you going to do, right? Give the team a lift. Everybody's got some bluage. We've got dark blue and light blue. Why are we not playing in green kits? That's that's just odd. <laughs> I don't think that's the right kit choice, and probably the official should have stepped in here in the early going. Let's get creative. We have got two... Two early shots, but nothing really happening. I think if we continue here, we are going to... Wow. I mean, we've been averaging 30-plus shots a game. You know, half of those on target. Wow. Wow. All right. Um... So let's swap these guys over. Let's move Gronley up top where they wanted him earlier. Freer, we definitely want him out wide, right? I mean, that's, you know, he's been he's been a goal scorer. Uh, disappointing. White, Elliot, watch your step. All right, demand more. Let's get them focused here in the early going. Jeez. There's just nothing happening here. Um, let's go ahead and rest white. Let's bring Gronley back. I'm going to bring on... Uh, all right, so Williams, Coble, and Marsh. Coble's our youngster. He's actually got pretty decent finishing. Marsh is the better finisher. He's out of contract. You know what? Coble is the one guy I would like to see him get better. So let's bring him in. And Shepard, Colsus can switch sides. And let's bring Pring on over there. Uh, show some passion. Focused. Hunter's frustrated. I get it. Rawson. If I bring, I can run McGinley out to the... No, I can't. Don't want to do that. Let's bring Kitching on for Rawson. I really don't want a, a red card to cost us. And you know what? I'm going to drop back to positive. Oh my God, did we just steal one. A long throw by Pring. Gronley with the goal. I think it was Pring with the throw. He might have got a touch on it. Yeah, Pring's throwing it in. Keeper misses the ball, and Gronley goes to the ground, gets a toe on it. Oh, don't lose it here. Oh, my God, it went wide. Ooh, holy shit, that was close. Gronley over the top. McGinley, oh, what a finish. How did a center back do that? Third goal of the season. That was a screamer. What a hell of a volley. Uh, hold on. I want to look at replay camera. Yeah, we want that. Behind the goal, huh? Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. What a finish by McGinley. That was stellar. And that is a goal to win silverware on, boys. That was a silverware winning goal. I would say goal of the season contender. Center back going up for a volley like that? 2-0. We still have games to play. Uh, we are going to be passionate well done, lads. You sealed the title. I don't think there's anything else the assistant can say after that. We are the champions. We have won the league. That is incredible. Uh, our youth candidates are coming in, evidently, and they pretty much suck. Pretty much suck. 
Our best ever League One finish. Who's Russell? Oh, club favorite Sam Russell. In disbelief. Well, that's what you get for not believing in me. There we go. There we go. What a season, boys. I still have three games that I've got to freaking play. Uh, I think we're going to go heavily rotated. We do have a shot at the league record for points. Do we care about that? I'm going to say no. I'm going to probably play a heavily rotated squad the rest of the way out. Uh, we will do that off camera. Uh, but we are top of the league. We are going up as champions. Does that help me any? I got a half star there. So we went from two to two and a half. So that's good. I brought 12 players. I've sold 10. We've sold for net profit of 475,000. Well, I tell you what, we would have broke, we would have destroyed the high fee if we would have taken that fee earlier. But I'm really glad now that we didn't. 64 wins, 26 draws, 20 losses. Very, very good. A league win, two promotions. Can't do any better. Guys, thanks for joining along on the ride this season. I'm going to finish out the last three games, hop into the offseason for transfers. So next episode, we will be in the championship. We will be in the second division in England with Forrest Green. Get in there, boys. All right, we'll take a look at transfers. Uh, we already looked at the finances. We have a lot of money we can play around with. I'm just not sure how high I want to go on the payroll. I, I, I think I want to kind of take it easy. We do have the expansion to the stadium, right? And... So we will be having more people that can come in next year. We should continue to see sellouts because we're going up to the championship. I would expect that to go up. Oh, by the way, how much do we get? Yeah, 32000 for promotion. That's, that's nothing. That's not going to help us at all. Um, what about, and there doesn't look like there's any money in here. Yeah, there's nothing. Oh, finals. No. And, you know, as much as I, <laughs> I hate the championship. God, it is a brutal, brutal schedule. 46 games. God, it's just, it is annoying as hell to get through that. There, I can't believe there's no money. I mean, yeah, if you get promoted, there's plenty of money, but... No money. Wow. So I don't think we want to go super out there. Let's take a quick look at the team. And this will be a little bit longer episode, just how it goes. Um, so let's take out future transfers out um, and expiring contracts. Uh, let's go ahead and put all three squads and look at three stars. So these will be our key players. So we have Collins, Freer. Adams, who doesn't even start for us, right? <laughs> McGinley, Ross, and Kitching, Shepard. If we go down to two stars, so then we have Hunter, Freer, Williams, Williams fitting in on both sides, Bennett, J. Neal Bennett, who's a new player coming in. So we've added some depth there. Uh, Galbraith will get some playing time. I think what we're going to need to look for is probably a midfielder, a defensive midfielder for sure. I think our defense is pretty solid. Now, I could use... Pring would end up being my starting left back next year. I wouldn't mind a new starting left back. Shepard would be on the right. I think we try to get rid of Titov maybe. I think we try to get rid of him. And we're okay in goal, I, I believe. O'Malley's got uh, 33 goals allowed in 41 with 20, 20 shutouts. So I think he can do the job. 
three and a half star. He's joining us next season, end of the season. So, you know, I'll have to take a, a closer look once these guys join, but we've got a few holes that we are going to need to fill, but I'm not going to be able to go crazy. I've got a lot of budget room, but I still need to be fiscally responsible. I mean, we just can't throw. And I'm not sure we would want to even try to get to the Premier League next year, even if we could, you know, with a top six finish and maybe getting through in the playoffs. I really think it might be beneficial to get a season or two of settling in, being able to build the team, make sure the, you know, start building up the, especially if you, like you guys, you guys want to keep this as a one team save. I've got to get our youth facilities up. Training needs to get up. Bristol City's in the championship. They're not going to be in the playoffs, so we're going to lose them as an affiliate next year. Um, it's possible that I could raid them prior to prior to everything switching over. Um, I have I have done that before. I think we did it this past year. But that's going to be a tough one. So we're going to lose these guys as our senior affiliate. Leeds. I guess we'll be playing Leeds next year unless they go through in the playoffs. Uh, Brighton, Aston Villa going up automatically. Nine. Well, not yet. Brentford could catch them. Brentford could catch them. So it'll be interesting to see who falls out. Uh, QPR, we did move down, but it looks like it's going to be that group. Uh, Petersboro, really the only other side that could go down. So we're going to end up having to look for another affiliate. Um, I think I'm going to look at that. I think we're going to have to get rid of a lot of these affiliates here. I mean, I don't know where any of these clubs are. Lower leagues. Especially if we're if we're paying any of them, we got to get rid of that. So we are going to lose Bristol City. That's going to terminate the agreement for next year, unless they get into the playoffs and go up. That would save it. And I don't know. I don't want to ask for the senior affiliate yet because they may say we already have one. And until we get the promotion and it gets terminated, they're not going to even the game won't recognize that, right? So. Anyway, I got a lot. Boom, my head is exploding. Thanks for listening to me ramble. I do that a lot. I get it. I get to go choose the club. Well, I got things to go do. Hit that like button for me. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like what you're seeing? What do you think about gaining promotion? Are we promoting too fast with back-to-back -back promotions? That's one of the things I'm always leery of because we outpace the facilities and the recruitment and everything else. And then we're so far behind other clubs that we just can't compete. And that's what makes it hard to do, in my opinion, to do a single team save because you just can't keep up. So we've got a long way to go. And that's why I need to make sure we're making money to where we can then upgrade these facilities. Don't forget, we're getting ready to drop a big chunk next season on the new stadium expansion. So, ooh, sorry about that. Uh, all right, well, we'll see you guys next time. Transfer special, championship. Oh, my God, big days for Forest Green. We'll see you. Bye.